What's up guys? Derek Wilcox here, Wilcox Strength, and it's time to announce a few changes for everything. Um, first and foremost, we, we as in Power X Strength and myself decided to part ways. Um, I believe that the partnership that we've had over the last few years has benefited Power Act, myself, and RP as well, because we were able to intermingle different bases or of people who are interested in different things. Uh, but that time is over now, and it's okay because I think they're going in a really good direction. And I've got my own things to go do as well, and that also brings up the next point of I've actually decided to go ahead and call it quits for powerlifting. Now I know that I was originally going to do the WPO meet in November. But training leading up to that, I was starting to get heavy. I was getting ready to move into my heaviest week of threes. In the previous block of tens, hit a 10 rep PR, great sign. Hit a five rep PR, another great sign. Everything was feeling pretty good. And then the first time I put a little over 700 pounds on my back, I realized with a really big reminder with a lot of pain that I hadn't had any more cortisone shots recently in my hips. And it really came down to, if I'm going to do this meet, I have to go get more shots. And that would be number six and number seven of cortisone shots. And when you really start racking those up over time, not a good idea. It kind of numbs all the inflammation in there that tells you that things are messing up, like cartilage getting torn out and whatnot. And that's really my biggest problem right now. With my genetic joint issues, I've always had instability, so the femoral head has been moving around in there a lot more than a normal person would. And with the loads I've had on my back for the last you know, 15, 20 years, always lifting as heavy as I can. And really, I literally lived from one squat max out training to the next squat max out. I never took a break from it. So I've had a really good run. I'm plenty happy with what I've done. I mean, I really set out to do two primary things. One was to lift in professional meets trying to go compete with money or for money against the best people in the world. I feel like I've definitely done that several times and I wanted to break a world record and you know, 935, 181 at the time that was a record stood for six years. That's perfectly fine. Uh, along the way, I've actually been able to claim the number one squat in the world for several different weight classes. Some of those certificates are back there should have another one coming up. And the other one is actually a little bit more special because I was able to get the number one squat in the 220 class, and my wife actually got the number one squat in the world in the 198 class. So we both got number one ranked squats same year. I don't know if that's ever happened with the husband wife duo or not. Maybe you guys can let me know. That'd be awesome. But I feel like I've had a really good run. Oh, and I'm still the smallest person ever squat a thousand pounds so far, until Mr. Rossin and I Finland probably decides that he wants to look into the into pounds instead of kilos. So. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, you know, it stood for around four years, so I'm plenty happy with that. Had a really good run, got lots of great stories, met tons of great people, and I'm sure I'll still be around the circle of powerlifting in anyway, just helping people at meets and whatnot, and maybe judging again, I don't know, we'll see. It's not all that uh, rewarding anymore, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that, and let you know how things are going to be changing a little bit. I'll get to be focusing on my renaissance periodization stuff a whole lot more which is really good for everybody and if anybody has any questions i'm planning on doing a q a relatively soon so get those questions ready you can send them in and i'll probably start a thread for that sometime soon in the following days before i set up the live q a so now that we've got that covered we're turning the page onto a new chapter in life and i'll be able to do a lot more renaissance periodization centered stuff moving forward in all my posts which would be good for everybody but since i have discovered the need to take all the heavy weight off my back i've decided to transfer my training more into weightlifting because you know weights less than 500 kilos sound a lot more safe i guess for my joints uh, and I really miss being able to move dynamically, and it's going to help my throwing, hopefully in the next year. I'm not sure if I'll get to throw any games this fall or not, but I'll be working on dropping weight. Uh, I got up to 235, so close to 240 in my powerlifting escapades, and I've already dropped 
about 10 pounds. I was 225 this morning, feeling a lot better, sleeping a lot better as well. And hopefully I won't feel like a big meatball walking around. And I also really want to get my golf swing back. That's been something that's bugged me for the last few years. Uh, I grew up playing golf. I coach golfers. And it's something I, I really want to get back to. So, And as you can see, this was just some light explosive work from power position. Uh, a lot of it was just to burn calories. But keep an eye on the training. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff. If you guys ever have any questions, let me know. Until then, take care and stay strong.